Oh, uh, I think it's once you develop <laughs> like that type of trust and like bond with someone that you start bringing them into your life. Because if guys would have told me certain things when I first ran. met them, yeah. But you kind of wish they would have now. <laughs> um, no, because at that point, it's like I I know I know you now. Mm-hmm. Like this was you before. Mm-hmm. What's up? What's up? It's lip service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm L'Oreal. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I was taking a sip. And we have a special guest. Justine Sky is here. Hey. 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 I was surprised because I was like, I can't imagine that Justine Sky is going to sit with us on lip service. <laughs> Why not? And talk about dick. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Already? That's how I like it. <laughs> but yes, we appreciate you for coming because you know what? I think when we first we're introduced to you. Mm-hmm. You are a lot younger. Yeah. So we still are like, okay, but now you're actually an adult. <laughs> yeah, everyone can't seem to get over the fact that I'm growing up for some reason, but it's like, it's it's understandable when you meet people when they're younger, that's like the image you have of mm-hmm. them for the rest of your life. But not the rest of our lives now. We're not going to think look at you like that. <laughs> I know, but a lot of people do. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe, where's your mom? Like, eh. And I'm just like, I am a whole 23 years old. I mean, like, that's Ooh. not that. I know. Like, we were like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still like, I'm, and I can have a drink. Okay, so. good, because you will. <laughs> um, so let's ease into this. Let's talk about revenge. Okay, mm-hmm. do you think it's ever a good idea to get revenge on someone? Mm-hmm. Um, I just <laughs> let karma do it for me. So no. but you ain't never did nothing. I mean, I have, but I think the the b- approach is just to step back and just. Watch the madness unfold and enjoy it because you don't even have to be a part of it. Mm. It's going to happen to them one way or another. So in reality, what are some things you've done to get revenge? <laughs> Cheat back. Okay. Hmm. Did it make you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Justine? Is revenge ever a good idea? Um, You know... Some people think revenge will make them feel better and it may make you feel better for that split second. Work for Mm -hmm. Gigi. (laughs) (laughs) It may make you feel better for that split second, but you're like stepping out of your character to Mm -hmm. get a reaction out of somebody else when it's really you should just be, if you, like Beyonce said, the best revenge is your paper. Mm -hmm. Like if you just focus on yourself and let karma do all the work, then it's like, it's easy to say. So you've never tried to get revenge on somebody. I think we. I'm not all... saying that I never tried to do that, <laughs> but so you have. But I've. I always like have to ground myself again and realize that, like, what's the point? Mm-hmm. Like, because getting revenge on someone, like, it's just a never ending cycle mm-hmm. of karma. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, because you're gonna get your karma back yeah, for doing for something. getting your revenge. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. back to you for a second, Gigi. Mm-hmm. Now, when you cheat on somebody back. Do you make sure that they find out or no. is it just for you in your own head to know? Yes. And did you stay with them after you got your revenge? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and did they find out? Then I cheated. Yeah. Yeah. And then? What happened? He could taste a condom? No. Ah. Yes, ah. <laughs> you know, no. remember I was told on, remember the snitches? Oh, the snitches ah. told. The snitches mm. told that there was someone else and it all came out and it was a big thing. It's always but snitches. the reason why there was a someone else is because I knew that I was being cheated on. And I feel like, why well, give you 100% of me when I'm not getting 100% of you? So if you're going to do this, then I'm going to do that. Mm-hmm. Damn, does it ever stop? It I had, stop. I know. Well, I don't know what he doing. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop but, that. I used to be vindictive mm-hmm, as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, I used to be like, all right, something happened. I'm going to get this person back. But each and every time I would end up like regretting it like yeah. you said or feeling stupid or I end up getting caught and I'll be like damn why the fuck did I do that like right. it did feel good at the moment mm-hmm. you know and then afterwards it's kind of like now you done did some fucked up shit so now you kind of got to make up for it right. it's, it's like the wrongest thing to do and that's not a word right mm-hmm. wrongest? Yeah. today <laughs> today it's the wrongest <laughs> and uh, I just feel like you gotta let karma do it for you because if not karma mm-hmm. gonna come back to you they gonna get their karma but you gonna get your shit too cause you did it on purpose right. they did it just to do it like, yeah sometimes you get revenge and then you end up feeling bad that you did something and now it messes up the whole situation yeah. like damn I'm supposed, you supposed to feel bad for me you don't even got the upper hand <laughs> no more you done played yourself and you don't got the upper hand so. now have you ever been accused of cheating and you didn't yes 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 Damn. <laughs> that's Every a guy like does that though. Like yeah. but but when they feel when they're doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. Guys love to like reflect their insecurities onto you. Right. So it's just like you anytime a guy ever accuses me of cheating, I'm just like, 
no, but clearly you are because yeah. look at you. Why are you looking through my phone? Why are you doing all this stuff? Because you're guilty. Because you guys feel like it's no way that they get in the way with or doing all of this stuff and you're not doing it. No. Too. But sometimes it could be way. legitimate, right? Like they could legitimately have a question yeah. or a concern. But when you're just automatically defensive, right? that's just like, that just lets me know, okay, something's going on with you. Mm-hmm. But there was this one guy that I was dating and he like, he was like a brick wall. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know he was cheating on me at all. The whole Ooh. time he was cheating on me. How did he get away with it? I don't know. I really don't. How'd know. you find out? Because I'm not the type like I'm not I'm not just gonna accuse you. Like I'm I'm very trusting. Mm-hmm. Uh, not me. Unfortunately. She and that's, a, eyes and that's, that's, that's like a gift and a curse. Obviously, like that was when I was like younger. And so I'm learning and I'm, I'm jaded growing. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just would like also, I just like I don't believe like you could do that. Like, who's gonna who are you gonna cheat with? Like, right. what, like who's better than <laughs> who's better than me? <laughs> They'll get Not a worse that, bitch. I'm just like <laughs> why? What is like? I'm talking to you all the time. I'm with you all that the time. Mean but right. Somehow they always find a all little right. like a little something. window. Like it's you're on Facetime with him and he's getting his dick sucked, but he's up uh, here. <laughs> nah, cause guys a lot. Like I'm about to go drop my kids to school. Right. I'm about to take my mother to the doctor. I'm going to the store and come back two days later. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lying. they fuck. No, nobody does. <laughs> That. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he they get getting fucked up. Guys will be like, I'm going to the gym. Oh my God, my ex boyfriend. So, <laughs> me and him had broken up, right? Because he got back together with his ex So, me and him had broken up, right? Because he got back together with his, his ex, but he hadn't told me. So, this is a funny story. I had moved back to Brooklyn. And I guess the girl was at his house and he told her that he was, I found this out later, he was going to the gym, but he really came over to see me, like to see my new place and everything. He came over in his sweats. I was like, where are you going? Mm. And he was like, oh, I'm just going to watch the game, something, something. I was like, all right. And he didn't stay like super long, but then his ex, well, whatever, she ended up calling me at some Mm -hmm. point, right? Mm -hmm. And like, she was telling me all kind of, I, I didn't even know the girl. I didn't know he was back with her. It wasn't my fault. But she ended up calling me and telling me all kinds of stuff. She was like, he gave me an STD. And mind you, I wasn't messing with him anymore either. But why was, was like, you talking to her, Angela? She called me. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I'll no, be like, bitch, I wasn't, what? But I wasn't with want? him. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So she called me. First of all, I'm like, how did you get my phone number? But he had. She an, went through his phone. Yeah, yeah, she had another phone. He had another phone that was broken that was in his house. And she went through it. And found my number and saw that he was texting me. So he told her he was going to the gym and came to my apartment. <laughs> I was like, who does that? Like, you leave the girl in your house and leave and say you're going to the gym? That's so stupid. Guys like, will say anything. There's no point. If going to Guys, a funeral. They just lie. They yeah. Just lie. Then she told me she was pregnant and having a baby by him. Uh-uh. You stayed on the phone way yeah. too long. <laughs> it was interesting. You never answered the phone, but you stayed on the phone. I didn't know who it was. It was interesting, though, because I didn't really hell? care. So it was funny. I was like, wow, girl, y'all having a baby? She was like, yes, I'm pregnant right now. I'm in his house. And then I think she broke his TV and threw his clothes out the window. Oh, my God. That gosh. sounded like something I'd done before. Crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was, it, was it me? No, no, I'm joking. You did that before? <laughs> what? You did Dude, break, she did break some TVs. I broke TVs and I threw clothes out the window. It wasn't his, but it was... You threw someone else's clothes out the bleached, window? Bleached. Threw them out in the pool. Well, Whose clothes was it? Some fucking clothes I found in another closet. It was some bitch clothes. Mm. like, And it was uh, like we had a few bedrooms in the crib. So it was one of the closets and it was all the way in the back. So something told me like, let me just look in here. I don't even know what the he fuck I was another- doing in there. In my crib, like we had two two houses. We lived in LA nah. and in Jersey. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. That's disrespect. He's disrespectful, That's period. Him. In your home. Yes, I left him for that. Like, obviously. Oh my God. <laughs> These guys. All right, well, let's talk about this. Let's build our perfect man. Girl, does that mm. exist? Since no, we're here. it doesn't. It doesn't, not but, cheater, not but, but if you could, right, <laughs> mm-hmm. build your perfect man. <laughs> Justine, let's start with you. What are some of the things that are requirements? And we know this is not possible, but. Yeah, it's fully not possible. But something, hmm, the perfect man. Well, you got to be hilarious. Okay. Like, I need, like, to, we need to be able to, like, crack jokes again, right. like, all day. Mm-hmm. Laugh me out my panties. <laughs> 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 and, um. You know, I feel like I feel like I don't have a type. My friends like say that. Looks like, wise. Yeah, looks. I've dated like short guys, tall guys. What do you prefer guys, though? Because now guys. you're building your perfect man. It's like weird science. I don't want nobody like see this and be like, oh, she only like tall niggas. So like, <laughs> not only, but we're, you know, if if you could visualize it in your um, head. Okay, like I said, I don't have a type, but um, <laughs> but I guess like 
at least like nah I like tall niggas I didn't <laughs> so I, there's nothing wrong with that okay you don't have to worry about short shaming nah okay but I just don't want to like and then I end up marrying like a short ass nigga and then he's like yeah I know you like tall niggas like don't overthink it okay so you went somebody right, like, I like tall okay. like at least like six feet like at least okay <laughs> um I like like chocolate mm-hmm. dark chocolate and um, just to be like, so funny, tall, dark, and just to be like confident in yourself. Like I hate like insecurities. Mm-hmm. Like beard or no beard? Um, I don't know. Either or. Mm-hmm. Either or. I'm not like picky with that. Like I'm not like one of those girls that's like, oh, I love a beard. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like, he could be Amber Beard dress where he could. He could have, have a beard. It. Yeah, yeah. And then shave it off when he feels like. Yeah. <laughs> Still look good. Yeah. Amber Beardress. Is that was <laughs> like Amber Dextress. So we just making up all kinds of words. I made up a word too. Yes. Yeah, so I don't you. know. I've never really like sat there and like thought about like I I used to, but today, like I don't sit there and think about like what the perfect guy would be for me because like I don't know. What just, about manscaping? What Should he have his um a ball deck or like Oh, um <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I you don't like know. hair or no hair or low or like a Caesar? <laughs> I just a think fade. that's weird. Like, cause then I'm envisioning like him sitting there shaving, and then that's just weird to me. <laughs> so you like nap? They, they use clippers. No, not nappy. So you like <laughs> nappy headed hoes? <laughs> <laughs> not nappy, <laughs> but like I don't, I just, I don't, I guess I don't mind. Okay, so a little hair is okay. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, what about size? Does size matter? Oh, 1,000%. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? So you like I'm small. <laughs> <laughs> really tall with a small no. dick. <laughs> Big no. Tall guy with a small dick. I just don't think like I could ever like speak to you again. Like once I know that, yeah. I even, like... I just don't like I can never look at you the same That's okay so hilarious. now you're gonna end up with a short light skin little dick <laughs> he's gonna be like you don't love me <laughs> how can you he's love gonna me? be I'm so not insecure I'm not your perfect man oh my god <laughs> that's so mean <laughs> what about as far as career like what kind of career wise mm-hmm. I'm not like someone you have to just be like extremely ambitious mm-hmm. like you have to I'm not saying you need to be like the president of the mm-hmm. United States or like the hopefully not Hell this no. president no no, no. <laughs> there's no standard for that no <laughs> or just or like be like the biggest best rapper but you just gotta like be confident in yourself mm-hmm. and be consistently like about getting your bag and about your family and about just your happiness as well too mm-hmm. because I guess like I don't know it's really that's like hard to find mm-hmm. like because then I'm already stressed out so you can't be stressing me out about what's going on in your life right <laughs> right <laughs> what's your perfect man Lolo um so I like personality a lot and but he mm-hmm. has to be cute so I gotta be able to take but him what somewhere is cute? cute so for me like you I like my guys have all looked different like there's not just like one that's just like okay like well I typically don't date light skin guys mm-hmm. but I but the guy that I was with the longest in my life is light skin which is so weird so yeah you get the opposite yeah you end up getting that like mm-hmm. I like more like I like brown skin guys but sorry for all the light skin men in the room <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm so like, pale I don't want a clear uh, baby like I want you to be able to baby. yeah I want you to be able to I see mean, my baby, baby won't be clear yes It'll it will transparent. yeah like with vein you see all your veins and shit like that no but anyway he has to be you know have a good personality be funny charming you know um loyal faithful not a liar uh i got a long ass list that's why i'm single (laughs) over here chili (laughs) yeah right (laughs) who wants to date what was the name of her show who want to date chili or some shit I don't remember the name of it. I well, it didn't end well. She had a long list. <laughs> it didn't end well. We know that. Mm-hmm. But that's it. What about you, Gigi? What's on your list? Oh, and he got to know how to dress. That's, oh, that's, my God. He got to know how to dress. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> we are looking so wild. So crazy. <laughs> oh and nice God. teeth. This is one that I like. I used Smell to be good. so in love with, but like he just dressed so bad, and like he would just like he would look cute, and then I would see him in his regular life, and I was just be like, "This is why. Like, this is why." Like, what's a whack dresser? Like, give us an example of oh. what's whack. Oh my god, mm. Angela, you know because remember you used to date somebody that couldn't dress. I've dated several guys who couldn't. And dress. she you took him what, shopping. You know what makes me <laughs> Not like dressing. took him shopping, but this I is what you helped. need to. I was like, let me. She's like, go. you need to buy this. You need to buy that because yeah. this motherfucker had dragons them, on his jeans. But they turned him into like this fly person, and then they. 
Yeah. Well, you know, it's called charity. You know what? (laughs) (laughs) To me, a guy that doesn't know how to make his to wear his clothes that fit properly Mm. is whack to me. Right. Like I don't want. Yeah, but it's not. (laughs) It's not. And that goes both ways. I don't want you no with a ball or belly and a goddamn baby tee on looking like Winnie the Pooh. A baby tee? <laughs> Who is wearing a baby tee? I don't want tea? you with a baby Yo, you I know what I'm talking about, right? Yo, all. me and Gigi was killing somebody. Don't you come in here just like Winnie the Pooh with no pants and a red... <laughs> <laughs> Belly no, I'm gonna tell you why because they be trying to squeeze into designer, designer. and designer only go up to y'all already know a certain right. size. And if you so the belly too plump and got that ball of belly and that shirt fit and you like mm. my baby T, I don't like no. That's if not I can see word, your nipples, you right. <laughs> uh, and then with the whole too big, you know, we're not in the '90s no more. Crisscross is not making us jump jump, so there's no need for us <laughs> to wear. We not it's, it's no longer the white tees that come down to your knees, four X extra longs. Like we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> and and your pants don't need to be sagging down and they definitely don't need to be tighter than mine so you don't want to help a guy learn how to dress some guys just I would love to help a guy learn how to dress and it starts with your clothes fitting properly not me you gotta come knowing how to dress you're a grown ass man why the fuck you don't know how to dress but some guys don't care about that so much they should no I don't care then you not for me like I like you care about your appearance I like a guy that can even throw in a suit here and there Mm -hmm. and like you're like oh all right, look at his little Mm -hmm. suit on looking like a snack Mm -mm, now that that's what I like but if I gotta dress you, then that's my son. But it's kind of fun though. Yeah, like, it I'll is. have a I'm baby. Not lie. Like Let me I mold went, you. This, um, <laughs> I'll like, buy presents, but like shopping, like dressing, the build the bear. No, I can't you go, go that far. Their closet, and mm-hmm. then you like, all right, give her this, give her this. Especially then, if they're like, receptive to it. Yeah. Because he I remember be I did a guy that wasn't from here and he just dressed like mad outdated. <laughs> and so I helped him, like, you know, and it was his clothes were a little oversized. <laughs> I feel like there's no excuse for that. I'm sorry. Figure I mean, it out. Some guys just aren't, you know, they just, that's not their thing. But if they're great in every other way, and let's talk about that, right? Okay. If a guy is great in every single way, but there's one thing that's wrong, and that's happened, I'm sure, to all of us. Mm-hmm. Like, he's great, but this. Yeah. What's one thing that made you decide, even though he's like super dope, I just can't be with him? Because his dick's too small. Damn. That's like a number one. <laughs> that's like a number can't one. Eat pussy. <laughs> He can't eat pussy. That's a number one, too. You can't teach a guy how to eat pussy. I have. I'm done. On many occasions. Mm -hmm. But if you're annoying... Oh, wait, you said perfect, but... Okay, so that doesn't count. Yeah, you're naming mad things. Yeah, he got (laughs) mad shit wrong with him. That nigga, throw him back in the water. Um, One reason I stopped dating a guy was because he lied about having a kid. Oh, Yeah, that happened to me, too. That did. My my open relationship ended because he (laughs) lied about getting another girl pregnant. Like, I already know you fucking... Mm-hmm. Why lie to this baby on the way? But I see, wasn't having no baby by him. He's so. a cheater and a liar, though. That's still too. Well, things. no, no, didn't have a baby while he was with me. Oh, but had a he baby had and one and didn't, didn't say anything. About it, yeah. yeah, okay. That's whack. That's, 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 that's a con. That's that's how you're not claiming your yeah, children? Exactly. Well, was the mother not letting him in the life or some shit like that? I don't have no idea. You can't delete. It didn't exist. I don't know. This is sick. You cannot delete it. If but you had them, you I had told to you one them. time a dude had a baby on the way and he told me he ain't had no kids. And like I found out later on and he was like, well, you asked me if I had any kids. I'm like, well, on the way counts uh, too. You got one in the oven. It's on the way. He said, it's like a game of spade. I got a possible. <laughs> now, what if you did that? What if I was out here to eight months pregnant and was like, I think he would know. <laughs> Not some people don't be having no real big stomach for Listen, real. Listen, because if Remy Ma wanted to have her pregnancy right now, I'm sure she, she could, could. She could do it. She's so like, Ooh, that Who's that good. other girl? <laughs> Tori. Tori. She Bricks. just posted a picture. I didn't even know she was pregnant until the nigga said something in the caption. She had a little rich, rich the kid. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was. She was hiding her. He's like, don't hide your belly. I didn't even know she was pregnant. I had no clue. Well, why? They just announced it. Yeah, I think they just announced it. Oh yeah, but the way her whole body, the whole shit. Like, (laughs) when you have a good, when you like in shape, shape, like you can't really tell till you're like nine months pregnant. You get what I'm saying? So what if you lied about that? You think that's foul? Like if you was messing with a dude? Yeah. (laughs) So why they could do it? Busting on another dude's baby's head. What if he died? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if the baby father died? You gotta oh. fuck someone. Well, you still gotta tell. Not the baby, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, it's not gonna kill the baby. <laughs> Foreign sperm? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> no, but the, the problem I had was that, like, he didn't tell me that. And he still, to this day, like, never told me that. But everything about, else about him would have been great. But it's like, you still never told me about a kid. <laughs> and I understand that, like, maybe it could be hard to have those conversations. But, like, it's a yeah. whole person. Mm-hmm. That's a whole life. Mm-hmm. It's some things you just can't like not tell like right. you, don't hold back the fact that you did nine years in prison okay I need to know that like <laughs> right. you know don't don't for hold, real what yes. they, do they tell you that though like how do you yeah, break the news like, what I happened was, to your Instagram between this day and this day <laughs> <laughs> well bitch <laughs> I was at cell block eight <laughs> nah but for real how do you break somebody that news like in what date do you be like on the first date like I just want to let you know I just got out the pen not on the first date no I think it's once you develop <laughs> like that type of trust and like bond with someone that you start bringing them into your life because if guys would have told me certain things when I first ran. met them yeah but you kind of wish they would have now <laughs> um no because at that point it's like I I know I know you now mm-hmm. like this was you before mm-hmm. and we're like not going backwards or moving forwards and so yeah what if he's like I used to be a woman oh that's Let me know a, that that's that's fine day one. Because you can't have no babies with him. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, but, but you can't say that on right away, day one. I used to be a woman? No, you. yes, you do. Yes, you do. The say day, that day one? one. Yes. I don't even barely See, but know you. That's what, even with men, that's kind of funny because, like, the reverse side, like, don't they you, might get beat up or something yeah, like that. Like, you, you were a guy high. and you met. Sydney Star and didn't know that she was a transgender. Well, you need wouldn't to Google you her. Want her to know first day. <laughs> wouldn't you want to know first day that she was a transgender? I think for her, she's very open about it. For some people, they're not wanting to let the whole world know all of that. So, you know, it's a complicated situation. I think you have to trust somebody before you can do that. I do think yeah. before there's some type of physical connection. Mm-hmm. But I you don't feel like that's there's an emotional up? connection. Yeah. I want to know that you used to be a girl. Right. Or, but I also feel like you might meet somebody and might not never go somewhere. So what was the point of me even like maybe we. Anything. Yeah. yeah. And now that's I done true. told something that I don't want the whole if world. If it's about to get like intimate, I mm-hmm. think that's the moment that you decide to like share. But then how is that fair for the other person? Now they done caught feelings and shit. You a whole nother Person. Gender, like you not even being real. It's hard because on both I sides think, of the I thing. I think before it's even like it starts to even become like a flirtatious like situation. Like mm-hmm. out of Let me just, just look, you know this like, my real voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I just think out of respect for like both part, like people in the whatever friendship, whatever it is that you just, that's something that I think you should share. Yeah. All right. Now, Justine, you said that you hate when people call you sweetie or sweetheart. Oh my God. And that bothers you. Does that bother you guys? Yes. You know what I hate? I, I answered the question. I hate call <laughs> hun. Hun. I hate that too. I think yeah. people are trying to be funny when they do shit like that. My dad called me sweetie yesterday, but I was like, so "You my dad." So. Yeah, that's, that's different. different. But it still got me upset for some <laughs> what? reason. So why does that upset you? Because I was just like, I don't know. Does it make you? Does it make you feel like um, they're referring to you as a child? Yeah, like that's that but that's thing. like. But then like, I was I'm like, "All right, that's my dad." Don't so me. like, it's I okay. am a child. Like, to I'm him. not gonna say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm right, his. Right. I'm always gonna be his baby. But like, if some like another like woman like call me sweet, unless you like. 96 years old like, <laughs> yeah. but I feel I'm just like, like tone is yeah the tone the too. tone matters so what if you came in here we were like hey sweetie that's a different tone okay. yeah. right and also you know you've like known me forever right since you were a little baby but you like listen sweetie <laughs> see like, that's so, already like, like I'm okay, like nah, that's a disrespectful tone I'm just like I'm sorry what who yeah. is yeah. Yeah. See, who it's, about, it's about the tone the what like, okay hi you're saying it what are some other things that you feel like are offensive for people to call you Bitch, sis too. Sis is, sis is like can sis. be shady. Oh, sis is I ain't super shady. Yeah. yeah, people say that when they're about to say something foul. Oh, mm-hmm. d. They'd be like, "All right, sis. Well, first of all, sis. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think, Good what night. else do I not like? Bitch. Well, that's no. Sometimes I like that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't like women. Like, Man. I was having a conversation. <laughs> I went to like dinner with a, uh, like a bunch of my guy friends, and they were like talking about. They were just kept saying bitch. They were like, and this bitch, bitch over there, this bitch mm-hmm. over there. I was like, can y'all chill? Like, why does every, like, female have to be a bitch? And he was like, man, you ain't never fucked with a real nigga, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you don't know, like, if you don't even not calling you a bitch. I'm like, I'm sorry. No one I've ever dated is like. Mm-mm. No one I've ever dated has called me that either. Yeah. But we've definitely had people up here on lip service that throw that word around. And that's, like, kind of how they... And they don't even mean it in a bad in a way. Bash. It just right. sounds crazy. I say yeah. it all the time. Yeah, you do. I do it. A, I say it a lot. 
But like, <laughs> I don't like for men. Like yeah. if a girl says it to me, like bitch, da, 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 I don't even think twice. Mm-hmm. But when a man does it and he's not gay, mm-hmm. oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Show stop. Yeah. You stop. Everything like that's a problem yeah. to me. But like if I hear and they be like, oh, like if I'm around guys that are like that bitch, da, 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 I'm so used to it, and I mm-hmm. think that's why I do it because I've always been around guys, mm-hmm. and like a bunch of guys that will always just talk that bitch, this bitch, this bitch. So yeah, I but it's it up. very just like it's just disrespectful, mm-hmm. like. I guess that's also like in the tone as well too, mm, right? Because guys be calling other guys bitches too, like true in a bad way. In a bad way, yeah, mostly. in a bad way, yeah. Okay, because if a guy's like, bitch yeah, you man. know, you a bad bitch. Uh, no, no, see? I don't like that. I don't like that either. Guys try to do that to get away to see what the fuck way. <laughs> or like my is. bitch, like no, she, she, you meant guy to guy, right? You, you meant said a guy saying it to another guy. Well, no, I meant to you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. You're not about to call me a bad bitch. You're gonna call me a beautiful queen. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, what if a, a a dude does like refer to you as like my bitch, but like on no, some? I'm not. Then you, you know you never. my bitch. But what if it ain't he texted no. it to you like trying to be thug cute? Loving? No, that's thug not loving. cute. What about in the bed while you're having sex? No, absolutely not. Not as. I mean, <laughs> uh, sometimes. Not for me. I know some, some, sometimes. Uh, just for me. Like, depends I just, on the circumstances. Look, I'm still thinking like, <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. In the bedroom. What size is his dick? It's, no, I'm joking. Right, right. That dick is over nine like, inches. You can call me bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can call me whatever you want. That's never been like the case for me. It's just don't call me too late. I'm very no, I'm emotional. Joking. And so whoever's like dating me is also like equally emotional, whether they like to admit it or not. Because like I, we have like deep conversations right. and like you, so you understand and like have a respect for me and the things that I don't like. Mm-hmm. What about so. being spanked in the bedroom? Like, what if a guy's smacking your ass? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even want to say it. Like, See, I feel like that's a bitch moment. No. <laughs> yeah. Like, bitch, you like that? You like this bitch, you little slap? I also don't like when people talk to me. Like, don't talk. Oh, don't, you don't talk. Like you can't even talk. For real? Well, so you don't talk. You can't say I love you. I love you yeah, so Yeah, like, I love you. Okay. Like, but... Oh, okay. This is a making love thing. Yeah. You make love. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. fuck. You don't never fuck. <laughs> you ain't get to that age yet. And making love yeah. shit gonna get whack. <laughs> you gonna be like, right, oh, yeah, I love you. Now fuck me. <laughs> and that's when it's gonna I get good. I didn't say that. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it's still emotional. Like, it's still an whether emotion. Whether it is, whatever it is, it's still emotional. Mm-hmm. You cry during sex? Ever? <laughs> She does. I knew it. You Every cry. time? Yes, she no, does. No. That's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> no, no, I have. Oh. <laughs> when you really like love someone? Oh. <laughs> She's um, very, she crying now. You crying? Yeah, what is, what's up? Did you just I'm emotional? Did Angela touch you? <laughs> no. Oh. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> she said it's hot. It's She's hot. Like, <laughs> so is that so you how many okay. <laughs> when you cry during sex, right? She's really looking like she's like, about to cry. I probably cried like three times. Damn. That's I, a lot. We've talked about That's this. A lot. That is a lot being a Because Gigi has young. cried during sex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never have. L'Oreal has. I had a sure. tear, a tear drop. Right. Okay. You got a little misty. <laughs> and a slow. A slow never tear. in my life cried during <laughs> sex. And people make me feel bad about that. What? Yeah. That means I you have never loved somebody that much. <laughs> that's what that sex, means. I emotional ass. I love nigga. you. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have fun sex? Like laugh and it's a good time? Yeah. Drunk. Yeah, <laughs> no, I just be like, I, I'm the type that I just like, if something weird like happens, like I'll just acknowledge it. Like, okay, that was that was a little awkward. Like, but, like <laughs> what? Yeah, I want to no. hear weird. Oh my gosh, no. Like if I fell <laughs> off the bed or something, you never queefed and been embarrassed. It. Yeah, that I laugh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Gigi fell off the bed. She said, "What? Yeah, I fell. <laughs> no, I not fell off the bed. Yeah, I fell off the bed." <laughs> Well, laughed. that's pretty fucking funny. That you gotta funny. laugh. Did that ruin the moment? Like, no, we laughed. Then I got up and bent back over. Like, no, shit. You ever tried to back? Ch- you ever tried to change positions and it just didn't work out right. too well? And, and you tried like to keep awkward. it in while you yeah. changed positions. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> then that's when you laugh. You're like, fuck it, that didn't work out. Yeah, <laughs> let's reset. <laughs> Not trying reset. to be too extra. Yeah. <laughs> trying to be way too extra. Yeah. You'd be like, let much. me flip around and keep it in. And then, or maybe you bend his dick a little. Ah. Uh, uh, 
Like, <laughs> like if you ever ride him and you get up and then <laughs> it comes out and you go back down and you're like, oh shit, did yeah, I? Like, did that I hurt? Broke it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it sprained? <laughs> I didn't mean to break your dick. Uh One thing that always like throws me off during sex, like even if I'm about to come, it'll make me have to start all over is if you stick your finger in my butt. I do not like that. It's the initial stick. I don't know. <laughs> the, initial the initial stick is always uncomfortable. Ruin my whole mood. You got it. Once you get into it, then it's fine. It's the, <laughs> then it's fine. Yeah, not it's, fine. It's, it's like, the it's beginning. Not, that's like what it's are not you? supposed to be just fine. <laughs> what no, about then you? It's good. What about you, Justine? If a guy is having sex and he sticks his finger in your butt, you like that? Um, she does. She didn't want to answer. <laughs> yeah, she, she was, was, that. That. Yeah, she was she like, like <laughs> um, that um was should I tell the truth or <laughs> she just kicked me under the table? She kicked me. You, so you like that? Um, um, <laughs> I, there's been a time when I've enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> she's like, that's why I cried. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my mom's gonna be so upset. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh, you grown, grown. 23? Yeah, that's what you just said, sweetie. Funny motherfucker. <laughs> you grown, grown. Stop looking at me as a little sweetie. Yeah. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> she's like yes. let's just all stay quiet yeah, like, yes. it. it's like weird but like it happens sometimes and they're just like oh okay <laughs> I guess this is what you're into <laughs> did you ever return the favor no uh, you should absolutely try absolutely not <laughs> what you no, should I'm, I'm good I'm good. like you I'm really good <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really good. good you ain't that grown yet <laughs> That's you will be one I day. guess I'm not. Wait that Maybe three, four more years. <laughs> right, we'll give it. And you come back and you be like, girl, I stuck mm-hmm. my finger in his butt. No. And now I can't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> now he keep asking. <laughs> the stench is still on my finger. Oh, oh no, stench. no stench. <laughs> and. No. <laughs> You ruined it, right? And that's I don't, that's it. why. I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to no. know what goes on in there. What about sexting? Are you into sexting? No. <laughs> Damn, well, that was just, like when I was like not. in high school. But like, <laughs> they always say that's a great way, like throughout the day, to get ready so that when you guys get together finally, it's like ripping your, each other's clothes off. You know what? I don't like. That's like like very like high school for me. Not saying like what everybody <laughs> else either. You know, like if that's what floats you out, then. But me, oh, like I'm just like. I don't know. I like to have, like, re- whoever, like, I'm with, I like to have, like, regular conversations. And then, like, when we're together, like, it's just... So if a guy you like is like, I can't wait to see you later on, I'm going to stick my tongue down your throat. And- I would laugh. You would? Yeah. <laughs> I would I would totally laugh. Really? Are you going to laugh at this? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think we, let's all, as a matter of fact, we're all going to have a shot with Justine because... Oh, a shot. We're just going in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to catch up. Mm-hmm. Right. This is all in honor of you. Now, um, one thing I wanted to talk about is taking a break. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in relationships, we're like, okay, it's time for us to take a break. Is that ever a good idea or does that mean the relationship is over? Like, have you ever said, let's take a break and then really got back together and it worked? I've never told someone I wanted to take a break. Can you take a break on that damn ice? (laughs) (laughs) No, uh, um, someone that I dated who I like really, really like really really thought was about to be the one mm-hmm. started going bad and then he was just like maybe we should take like a break but he didn't he just we broke up but to him that was a break mm-hmm. and I'm just like we're not even together yeah I'm like we're definitely not together mm-hmm. anymore like mm-hmm. but then I still liked him so like we started talking to each other again and then I realized like you're the same oh then I found out he was cheating on me for real oh for my real God. and not only was he cheating on me it was with Kylie <laughs> what? <laughs> you know. I know how they give it up, so I'm just—I thought no. that was the moral. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, go go. Not only was cheating on me, but he was like talking about like other like girls were like talking about me, like oh he only like he only like this type of girls and like this and that and like blah 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 and like I didn't even know they was really together and I'm just like, bro, that's crazy. What? No, you can't trust these dudes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> moral of once the story. I, like once, like all right. So the thing for me is like I know like like I'm young. We're young. Like we're gonna make mistakes. But once you have other people out in the world disrespecting me and talking like bad about me, that's when it's like exactly. That's when it's really like an ex. Like you right. really like you right. really gotta go. Like you're embarrassing me. That should never. He was supposed to shut him down. Like don't you're even ever talk me, about you're disrespecting her. me. And like you, you just don't like. What is the point of this? Anyway? Yeah. So. See, that's when the loyalty aspect comes in with guys. I feel like 
he was supposed to dub that. Like, with guys, I feel like if you're going to do what you're doing, do what you're doing. But don't let nobody disrespect me in the process. Like, you're, they're already disrespecting me by right. fucking with you. Mm-hmm. But then they're going to try to bring me down or you down. Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, I would never want someone that I'm with to feel uncomfortable. And that's mm-hmm. what the main part about a relationship for me. Because it's like, we all have a past. Right. Mm-hmm. And but like we're with each other now. But like if I walk into a room and I was and I'm with my new guy and there's someone in there that I I used to be with, I'm gonna be like, hey, like I don't want you to feel uncomfortable or like someone else in the room knows something about me that you don't. Big facts. It should never. Guys don't feel like they need to to say anything. That's what I think with my boyfriend. If I don't like somebody, he hates them. (laughs) And it's supposed to be that way. If I'm like, I don't like this person. He'd be like, all right, I don't fuck with them either. And I he, feel, yeah, they supposed to be friends too. Mm-hmm. I feel like everything, everybody's supposed to be like that. If they fuck with you like that and they love you or whatever the case and you don't fuck with somebody, then we all don't fuck with them. Mm-hmm. To me, that's how to, like, I understood 50 when he was doing that G-Unit shit and he was going against everybody. Oh, you doing a song with him? Nah, I can't fuck with you. To me, I understood that. And people thought that was crazy. Like, that's childish. How you, No, we a unit. We move together. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of that. Let's be a unit. Let's move, move together. together. Yes, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. We a unit. And we are, first of all, I just want to make a toast to Justine because I love the fact that you are a grown woman now <laughs> and that you've been living in your truth. And there's a lot of things that's been going on, ups, downs, or whatever, but you've been honest about it and transparent. And that takes a lot of bravery. Mm-hmm. You know, and helps out a lot of people. So I just want to toast to you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that. Right, everybody look in the eyes. Look in the eyes. Okay. <laughs> that was a way of really getting you to take that shot, too. Mm-hmm. So now you have to. Look, she put that over there like. Woo, it's a lot. She, she, she drank that whole damn shot. I drank that. That was too. a mixed shot. It was? Well, it was. It, it had a little like it. It had a Yo, little. I don't think it, like. It All right, one little, more. Five. It had a little no. splash of <laughs> ginger and a little splash of lemonade. That was good, though. That was good. You like just that? To, just to ease it on down. So she needs another you know? one. Have she you ever have a drink? You have you ever been more. in a relationship where, um, like, it was so open that he had your passwords and you had his? No. Tuh. When I was like, when I was a kid. Okay. Like, oh, remember yeah, she when grew you grew up in that go, era? Remember when you used to like go? I don't know if y'all remember, but like, nope. when you used to like hack people's like. Like, I remember, like, whoever was my boyfriend at the time, like, I'd be like, yeah, what's up, y'all? It's Justine. I'm hacking my man's. Like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I were, I remember one time I really got to a whole argument <laughs> with his side bitch <gasps> on oh, his Twitter. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? And That's I think about awful. that. And it really just made me not like girls named Tiffany for a really long time. Oh, that my God. Really I'm weird. like that, too. Like, anybody named Tiffany, I was just like, you're going to, like... I hold. I, the, I would never I hold say the, the gr- bitch's I name. I hold the grudge against... <laughs> I hold the grudge against girls named Ashley, and I have my reasons for that, too, so I, I feel you. It don't be... It's bitch, like, you know what name, name I don't, I don't like, like is yours. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to say You're who, but say I know name. you listen to bitch. I'm not going to lie. I've hated a whole ethnic group <laughs> no. for a period of time, but I'm over it White now. White people? But, no. No. But I, I'm over that. But there was a period of time that I was like, I am never going to eat Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that nah, was so I ain't never. To me, I'm sorry. I never went that far. But it was because of the girl that he was cheating on me with, and I was like, Ugh, no more chicken tikka masala for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I ate that for lunch yesterday. <laughs> you said what? I had that for lunch. Me too. Away. You know how hard that was for me. <laughs> the girl probably delivered it. <laughs> I can't so, have funny that but, of all things, that's what you said. I, I can't have none of what's that delicious bread. <laughs> A uh, non. Oh, non. Yeah, I can't know non because of this bitch. <laughs> yeah, oh, we can't no. know samosas. Like, that's mm-hmm. that's crazy. Nah, that's patty as fuck. <laughs> that's, that's wild. <laughs> but I feel like I would probably do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I just, like, like, you don't want to, like, do anything that involves anything that has to do with that person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if a like, guy cheats on you with a white girl, you hate all white girls. Facts. You'd be like, man, the white bitch. Like, you'd be even <laughs> more mad than normal. <laughs> You be protesting and shit. Like, <laughs> now, have you ever dated a white guy? Yeah, yeah. You're not sure. She's like, what's because I don't. I don't sure if I count that as like. Like, were we like really I dating? Did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I'm not sure if I like count that. But I, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, I have. You think you can marry a white guy? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she hummed the answer. <laughs> um, a lot of my friends, like we, that's a common conversation, like amongst my friends, because like I have a diverse group of friends, mm-hmm. and everyone, like some people have a type, some people don't, and then for me, I always like say that I don't have a type, but I just don't know if I, I don't see myself like marrying a white guy. 
Mm-hmm. But I don't know what's going to happen in the mm-hmm. future. Right. You never know. Like You I just said that and that's exactly what's going to happen. You're going to marry a white guy putting his finger in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be five foot eight. <laughs> And he going to call you sweetie all day. No, I would never I would like, this is the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> He's not going to be funny he at all. Spank your ass. Just, with a small dick. And he going to talk <laughs> during sex the whole time. <laughs> nah, I just don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I haven't met uh, or been involved with like a white guy that I like really, really liked. Mm-hmm. I could never marry a white guy. You going to do Why? it to me? Never, no, never in life. I don't even want to date a white guy. What if he was on Game of Thrones? Well, then that's different. Jon Snow. (laughs) Not well, that's different. (laughs) Jon Snow could get it. (laughs) But other than him, that's it. Like, nah, I just... Uh, first of all, I just feel like I'm too like right into my culture. Oh. No, mm-hmm. I'm pale as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm too like into my culture. Like I just like I don't know, and I know slavery occurred, and I just can't get over it. Damn, <laughs> so, you mad at his ancestors? You put ancestors. slavery into dating a white guy? That's a fact. Yes, because that was his ancestors, and I can't like I can't just act like that didn't happen. He banned by association. Because I don't of care. Yeah, Lord, yes. I'm sorry. Like I just feel like. How can I like teach my kids certain things and then like masses living with us? <laughs> I sleep with masses. <laughs> oh my God. You took it too far. <laughs> Am I taking it too yes, far? Yes, you are. Like, I need to know to his understanding of the whole situation before. All right, let's back yeah, it up that- for a second. What if he bought, what if a white guy bought you a Birkin? I don't, nah, I really feel uncomfortable with like dating like outside of like black. What about Asian? Nah, I never dated nobody but a black person. <laughs> and like my I had a ex, my ex boyfriend is half white, half black, and we used to get into arguments over it. Cause he like, I think like low key, like you have a problem with me being white. Mm-hmm. And maybe I like it's weird to me because like I don't feel like and whatever, people could judge me for this, but like we like black people have never done that to a race of people. So I just can't understand how like a race of people like white people could just like continuously do it like they did it to Indian people black people so I do hold that against like yeah I do you can't hold that against people Why? that weren't even born when it happened I mean it's not being born when it happened like if they, they were there. and if they were what they was gonna <laughs> stop it like I just I don't know but what if they're extremely like pro-black and they believe everything then that's different with everything that see then know. I might I might what look at that a little different um, I need to know they the lady views. that changed her race with the braids and she no, was no, like no, that's a joke not, that's not, a not, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. to me that's a joke you what get if he what was I'm like saying? her no that's a joke to me yeah, that, that would be awful joke. yeah that's a joke like if he started wearing a high top fade it was like like yeah like vanilla ice flow I would just think that was super yeah I think he's trying to be black face like this is a joke like but that's how I really look at stuff like I got to know your views and your opinions and like how you feel about the but whole But if situation. your views aren't in line with anything that you're against and whatever, you could perhaps. I d- we just got to have a long, deep discussion. Are these black guys treating you good out here? <laughs> Are the white guys? Like, I don't have. You haven't tried. I mean, they're treating. I'm kidding. <laughs> the guys that I deal, like, I've dealt with, I felt like you going to marry a dinner. white man. She's going to marry a white man. <laughs> I, mean, I sure. promise you I'm not. Yep. I, I'm <laughs> but I don't think that you know. should have have that meets. type of, like, you never like know. that mentality towards um, I would marry. A I don't friend. do it with friendships. No, not with friendships. Yeah. But, even, but with God, like it's not even allowing you to have a friendship because all relationships start with <laughs> friendship. We know that I am. She said she would marry a white guy. I was just answering she the question. She used to be white. I did, and I would. <laughs> <laughs> I did. She used to be white. I did used to be white, and I would marry a white man. I would. I could see myself. Let me say it like that because I am going to marry somebody else, but. Right. I would see my Oh, girl, you getting Ooh, married? Boy. I, I mean, just want to say, for, for a period of time, a Gigi was like, I don't have to get married. I could never get married. I don't even care about that. Yep. But this wedding going to be lit. That's I all can't I wait. know. I hope y'all get married because I'm coming. You going to be in a wedding? Coming. I want to sure. go. Yeah, you'll be there. <laughs> you know him too. Oh, we're gonna be in yeah. this wedding, girl. We're gonna have it? so much fun. This wedding gonna be popping. First yes. of all, yes. <laughs> if I he love makes a it, he's gonna drink so much through the he first like night. I get too drunk and miss it. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. It's <laughs> so funny. It's an inside joke. Yeah, y'all. but um, if I was, if I was dating someone else, and he so happened to be Caucasian, I would not put marriage. Out because right. that he because of the fact that he's Caucasian. I feel you because like my mom married a Chinese man. 
Yeah, which I can't the fuck ever say thought? like who you should or shouldn't be with. That's why conversations like this are kind of like it shouldn't work out. But um, conversations like this are kind of like okay, why can't we like marry who we want and not have to think about things like mm-hmm. that? Well, also religion takes like a, a big part. Yes, of it. the one white guy that I was talking to was Jewish, and his whole thing for uh, we wasn't even talking to each other for that long but his whole thing was like i can never marry you because you're not, you're not, not jewish. jewish and i was just like oh, how did we start talking about marriage like mm-hmm. i don't even but know you that. Like, that's, that's but you see how they think that but you see how they do that and nobody think that's weird but that's if i say thing, i only right. want to date a black man everybody look at me like i'm crazy no What's i know people difference? who are muslim and i mean who dated like muslim men and changed their whole religion yeah they've everything. changed their mm-hmm. religion but i can't change into a white woman and he you can't change into a black but man they ask you to change <laughs> no but this is what i'm saying why do you have to it's change religion. like yeah but that's they date within their religion and i want to date within who i like like and I don't think like because I'm saying you wrong for it. No, because I feel like I am gonna get like I already know how yeah, shit goes. Comments. Like I already know how shit goes, and I don't care because that's me and this is my life and can't nobody I tell me. I don't care. I love it. <laughs> but the but the fact of the matter is like somebody will bash me for that and like you know look at Jew Jewish people or Islamic culture like okay that makes sense to me I guess because it's a religion or whatever but that's how I that's my view yeah and that's how I feel you know what I mean and I feel like I'm a little too hood like I'm gonna come around the family like what's poppin y'all good y'all they're gonna be like the fuck is this bitch she I thought she looked like us you do, you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then once I open my mouth, they're gonna be like this. I'm gonna no, be like, nigga, yeah, nigga, nigga, my nigga. They're gonna yeah, be like, my that's nigga, the my thing nigga. About a relationship, like even like, I think that you before it even gets to the point of a conversation about marriage, you guys should have a complete understanding of each other and be completely comfortable with each other. Like y'all should be able to take a shit around each other, bark oh, no, whatever no, no, it is. No. Like, but that's, she don't agree with that, and I think I'm so glad you shit. said that because. That's how you know you really with somebody yeah. for real when you could take a shit and not care. That's yeah. not true. I remember one time. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not even gonna that's lie. Not I remember. True. I was. I, I always used to be like scared, and I know some women that were like, <laughs> I would like they will never see me use bathroom. Never, ever. ever. But so like he was sleeping, and I went to use the bathroom, and I like did all the tricks. I opened the window. I left the window <laughs> open, and then he came out. And he was like, "You think I don't know? You took a shit? Like you left the window open? That, see, <laughs> that's the problem. Like, you told on yourself. You should have been like, I don't know what you're talking. But about. then I just laughed about it, and then like it was normal. Like <laughs> you live with your man, you could shit with the door open. Yeah, that's nasty. Listen, this way, my boyfriend, I'd be like. Hey, don't come in here because I'm about to take a shit. And we I tell him. I don't, and yeah. I think that's Let me tell you great. something. I lived Listen. with somebody for years and he never seen I, a I had a friend like that. So I, don't I like, had a friend like, like that before. She that. wouldn't even shit. Yeah, me neither. She wouldn't even shit if he was in the house. Like, no. she wouldn't even go into another bathroom. That's yeah, that I, I would like. That's, that's crazy like a to me natural too. I'm not human No, that's nasty. I just feel like with women. But you go stick your finger in his butt? Yeah. After he cleans it, though. Yeah, he got to be out the shower. You're in there licking his ass and you can't even out the shower. Shower. Listen, mm-hmm. I'm gonna shit with the door open. I'm not. Sh- I'm not. I'm gonna walk shit. into the bathroom while he's shitting and be like, "Um, can we order some food?" I like, I know his shit. Same, same, same. <laughs> See, I know he shit. It's me that. But why like, can't you do that? I just feel like with women, like it's certain that things that so we crazy. should. We should not have out there. I'm not gonna put my bloody tampon on the on the floor neither. Yeah, you don't gotta put your shit on the floor either. I mean, come <laughs> on, that's crazy. But I'm saying he's not gonna smell it and know that natural I'll just human. You'll tell him I have my period, right? Yeah, if I can't be free it's with just you, different. Like, that, I, I agree can't with be that. With you. And I'm look, sorry. I don't want you to smell my shit coming to the bathroom yeah, while I'm taking this just shit. Be like, I just what I'm doing my business. Yeah. And this. yeah, but why do you have to share? You have to announce because I have to tell him so he don't try to come in the bathroom like he always does when I'm in there. So I have yeah, to be like, I always like, go in the bathroom. When he, not that I always here. go in the bathroom, but he has like bathroom time. Like he'll sit yeah, in the bathroom for hours bathroom in the morning. Time. And if I want to ask him a question or, or tell him something while he's on the toilet, I'm not even going to knock. I'm just going to open right. the door and be yeah. like, babe, da 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 da. Like it's I normal. Do that. I don't bathroom care if I smell the shit. Like, like, so you, you don't look have at him no time. Shit. I don't want to sit there and watch him. But if he's sitting on the toilet, I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to open the door and talk to him. I'm not going to lie. Oh, maybe in the bathroom for mad long. You just like, what's going on in there? I know he's taking the shit, so I'm going to leave him alone. No, I'm asking. Does he want to drink? Toilet. <laughs> Sometimes they just be sitting on the toilet not doing nothing. They're on the phone, they're but they're constipated and they gotta go. You know, they're not eating how they're supposed to, so it don't just drop right out. You, you make know, excuses. <laughs> I know. Drop right You know out. what I love? I love to drop right out. It should only take you 30 seconds to shit. Sorry. My best friend would go to the bathroom while her husband was taking the shit and like sit on his lap and talk to him while he's on the toilet. Okay, see, I'm not gonna sit on his lap. No, no. Now that's I'm a not gonna do that. Now that's too far. I might pop, a relationship. Listen, I might pop my head in and ask him a question. 
funeral, tell him something, but that's as far as it's it goes. Nothing, I'm not going to sit in there. You remember and Bobby and Whitney when they had that reality show? <laughs> and he show, stuck his finger in her butt. And her shit was constantly. She was constipated. Yes, and he stuck his he finger, stuck his in, finger her butt, in her butt. And loosen up her bowels. Not that's what your man's supposed to do. I don't want that. That's the reality. What is wrong with y'all? That was Bobby and Whitney. That wasn't me. Fuck no. Y'all got me fucked I mean, that's, up. that is, no, that's disgusting, but that's When you love. get old and can't move and I got to change your diaper, that's the only time I'm trying to see some kind but of But you got to prepare And I love you. Yourself. If I started now. Years. No, you got to love a nigga for 98 years before And you, you know what's crazy that. is that L'Oreal would be at my house taking a shit with the door open talking to me. She is a liar. You are such a liar. I will pee with the door open for sure. No, you definitely take a I shit. I will not shit with the door open. Why did you want us to know you shit, L'Oreal? <laughs> you shit, L'Oreal. Everybody poops. Damn it. You read no, the book. I don't shit. <laughs> I just get claustrophobic If you don't shit, you got <laughs> Me too. So so y'all open leave the door, door open. Y'all shit so everybody got to suffer. Listen, yeah. my bathroom, we have a water closet. You know, when the toilet in the shower is separated from the rest of the bathroom. I'm not that and rich. Explain it a little more. Either. I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live in bed too. Yeah, I live yeah, in yeah. Brooklyn. We don't got all we that both shit. both live in Brooklyn. We this don't bitch got a bidet. Yeah. <laughs> she got a bidet. I got, uh, I'm lucky to have a second bedroom in this motherfucker. Okay, well, anyway. So the toilet <laughs> is behind thing. a closed door. I thing. won't close that door because it's like a small space. Mm-hmm. Nasty so bitch. I leave that door like open. When you're in a hotel room and then you got like the, the bathroom is separated from like the shower, everything like that. I leave the door open. I close the door still. No, I, just, no. just I feel claustrophobic. I don't know what's going on out in the rest of the world. Like We don't want you to have no attack on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. No, I just need to like, I need to be like, I need to air yeah, it that's out. That's what yeah. Instagram is for. You want to know what's going on in the rest of the world. That's why niggas be in the bathroom. It's just growing. Oh. I think I just have claustrophobia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Justine Sky, listen, I know you got a lot going on. The holidays are coming up. Mm-hmm. Why are you <laughs> she rolling like, your eyes? This going? No, she I knew mean, this was. <laughs> I feel like we learned a lot about your emotional self. Yeah, I'm so, no, I'm so emotional. Like it's it's that it's it's a gift and a curse. <laughs> I like that. I want to be more emotional, but I'm not like I'm, I'm not ashamed of my emotions. Like I'm just like I know I'm saying I like it. I want to be more of an emotional no, person. Don't. I want to cry mm-hmm. during sex. <laughs> <laughs> I used to want my emotions. I to went go to. Away. I really went to. <laughs> yeah, I want them to go. Yeah, I, I want them to go. Away. Sometimes, sometimes. But now I'm just like, you know what? Who Embrace. You're yeah, embracing like, now. Yeah. I think I was raised like in an emotionless environment, <laughs> and so I'm. Always, I can see that because Ange is very like. You're very like. Yeah, I'm not like I'm not an emotional person. I cry over everything. She does. Everything makes me cry. I'd be like Angela because you don't understand. And no, da, 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 and I'm I crying. Cry. And she'd be like me and, <laughs> me and Patrice, my sister, we cried the other day because we were singing like a Christmas song. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was telling my friend about a That's Christmas song. Oh it was like it goes, it's like it's a song about like it's called, what's I saw it called? Mommy kissing. Santa <laughs> oh, it's called Christmas Claus. shoes, and it's about this little kid. He wants to buy shoes for his mom because she's about to die, and he wants her to look pretty. Oh my Jesus! What song? Oh, that was that? I don't know that song. And so we were. Sad. Sad. That's a terrible shit. Christmas I'm about to cry at the story. <laughs> People dying. <laughs> God I'm damn. So no, we were singing the song and we just started crying. Was just why like, would y'all sing that now? song? <laughs> why are my eyes tearing up? up? Like, why is she dying? Oh my God. Remember little Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit. <laughs> Something is wrong with you. No, Christmas songs. Listen. <laughs> I'm mad as fuck. I hate Christmas songs. What Christmas song? Who the fuck sings that? I love Christmas. Songs. Chris, I know some country singer. Oh, um, that's why. Not the oh. all that <laughs> shit is sad and fucking weird. It is. This Christmas is the best um, Christmas song. What's yeah. a sad Christmas song? Oh bad my god! <laughs> Y'all li- ever listen to? Okay, you the might not Charlie know the song. You know, Wham. Last Christmas. Last Christmas, yeah. I, I gave you my heart, heart. <laughs> and the very next day, that's, that's a song. Gave it away. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a sad Christmas. That bitch was a whore. I actually did like a remake of that song. <laughs> you, you did. did? Get out of here. Did you give... Yeah. Do, so who... It was, That's a fucking you gave sad them your It's heart? so weird, though, because, like, <laughs> around the holidays, I never really have, like, a person. Like, you I don't know what that means. Oh, shit. They ain't want to buy no gift. Right. They was broke. It'd be, like, 22nd, <laughs> December 22nd. It's me. Justine, it's like, not Oh, it's you? Like, you ain't want to buy no gift. Around my birthday. But it's, 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 I know how it sounds, like, oh, they want to buy you a gift. But, like, around my birthday, around, like, va- Valentine's Day, like, You're the holidays, single. like, I'm always single. Damn. When's That's your birthday? crazy. August 24th. But they do say that the holidays <laughs> is like for relationships. That's the hardest time. Really? I do had a boyfriend one time during Christmas and he was so weird. Like I brought him to my grandma's house and he was just weird. That's the wackest part when you got to bring them with you to the shit And you then the next home. year they're like, what happened My family's to- Jamaican so everybody's just staring at him. Oh, like, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's awkward. <laughs> Do your parents ever like anybody you dated? My mom is very like picky. She mm-hmm. hates everyone. Oh, like well. every guy that like <laughs> that I bring. But she she has she has like she has like one guy. Mm-hmm. No, two guys. She's like two guys. Okay, that's yeah. how I'm. And be. they turned out to be the worst. You she's like, how she has no judgment. <laughs> I'm, I don't like him. 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 <laughs> don't talk to him. But you can't be like that because then I mean like. I feel like the like the craziest thing about a relationship, you don't want to like have your close friends or your parents or your family like hate that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so hard. you don't have nobody to talk to, even though you're supposed to talk to them like, in true. those times. Like That's when you're true. going through shit and you're just like And sometimes you don't want to tell them what's really going on because then if y'all work things out, you don't yeah, want them to bring up the exactly. shit. Exactly. I regretted saying so I, many things before oh to my God. Especially Angela. Oh yeah, mostly Angela. Oh, my but God. <laughs> FYI, I be right. Right, Gigi. And yeah, then she'll be like, "Remember, Lori." Right. Most of the time, but she oh yeah, Angela admit that they're right. She'll be like, "Yeah, this happened. This happened." I was like, "Girl, you cannot stay with him." She she'll be like, be like, "I told you, da da da." You like, can't tell Angela shit. Yeah, like, I would be like, "She slapped my mom. He slapped my mom, and then this happened." And, and then she'll be but like, "I could change him." I know. I'm like, "Lori, he slapped your mom." Hold mother. on, not my mom. Don't don't bring my mom into this. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck everybody up. Somebody touch my mom. <laughs> But, but listen, me. in our reality, you know, your friends are a good judge because yeah. they care about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know. But sometimes your friends, just like your mom, not saying your mom mm-hmm. or like my mom or anybody's mom, could be a bit overprotective. Yeah. And then it can, sometimes you got to learn your own lessons for yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And it does make it hard to go and talk to them when you feel like, damn, like they're they going to judge me. They already hate this me. person. Yeah. So, oh like, my God, her ex-boyfriend, I wouldn't even go nowhere with them. She'd be like, you want to come? I'm she like, used nope. to all the time I'm and then the it just went though. nowhere. Like, And I'm like, but yeah. you can't do that because that's my lesson to learn. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes, like, and I've had to do that with friends. I hadn't like they boyfriends or whatever the case, but I had to remember like, this not me, this not my shit. But I'm not about to be fake. Like, but they'll stop fucking with you over the nigga. Yeah. Like, be I'm going to do that. I just ain't going to be there when he there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but then much. they want you to be. It's, it's yeah, such it's a like weird gotta, like balance of like. If it's your birthday, it it's not fair. Though, but like, I ain't like, gonna you, hang out in my space. And I'm not time. about to sit there and like crack right. jokes with this nigga. Like, yeah. no. Not but it's I like know. that's that's the wackest thing when you can't get your boyfriend and, and your, your closest friends to get along. To get along. That's why a lot. Well, of it's your fault. It's not stop being a bitch. Yeah, but it's also your fault for telling your business. Too, because if you didn't know that, you still would have liked it. Yeah, but sometimes it's something that you'd be like, that's unforgivable. Like, you could, certain things you're like, okay, mm-hmm. they got into a fight, whatever, whatever, but some things you're like, he's a fucked up person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people don't, that's why a lot of people don't bring their significant other around their friends. Right. And then you get to the point where you're just like, wait, like, where is my friend? Like, I'm losing my friend. Mm-hmm. She's with this person all the time. Sometimes but if you love the person, it's like, how are you supposed to mm-hmm. deal with that too? But sometimes like, you don't want to mix that world, those two right. worlds. And I don't, I don't ever want to be in that situation where I can't bring the person I'm in love with around all the other people that I love. Mm-hmm. So with my situation, it went from being like everything was good to like it got like physical. You know what I mean? And then I confided in Ange. You know what I mean? And I let her know like this is what's going on. So, I mean, I never expected her to just be like, oh, it's physical. Ha ha ha. Come on. Let's all be friends. I never thought that that was going to happen. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like if I... It's a hard, sticky situation because she's supposed to be my friend and be like, yo, you know what I mean? Get away from him. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if I'm not getting away from him and I I know that I'm like cause of the problem too, like I'm the one doing the shit too, like putting my hands on him or whatever the case, it was kind of hard for me in that situation to figure out like, all right, I don't want to lose my friend or whatever, but I do love this guy and I know the situation's fucked up. But in my mind, I would blame myself. Like, I should have never told Ange. That's how it, it would go down for me. Mm-mm. Like, Listen, I have, and you know, one of my other friends, I had to make her get a restraining order mm-hmm. against her man. And, you know, that's hard. Like, it's hard when you see your friend going through something and you're like, he ain't shit and I can't be around somebody that ain't shit. Mm-hmm. I just can't. I'm sorry. Like, mm-hmm. Am I wrong for that? No, no, not at all. No, you're not wrong. And I still be your friend. I mean, but that as 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 someone's friend, you need to. You can't sit there and make them think that that's okay. And Absolutely if they not. and if they want to hate you for that, then that's just what's gonna have to happen mm-hmm. because you love this person enough to let them know that they're in a dangerous situation. 
And I feel like I also am not going to keep rubbing it in your face because I know like yeah. sometimes it like, makes people I not want to tell you, you stuff. Yeah. Right. So if, I, if I'm if i like, look, I told you, da, 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 I'm not going to preach to you all the time because you are going to do what you're going to do. But until you figure it out yourself and come around, I can't be around that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's understandable, though. Mm-hmm. But like, I know you had a situation as well. Did you feel like you lost certain friends when you were going through like any situation? A domestic violence situation? Domestic- oh, 1000%. Mm-hmm. I lost 80% of my friends. Mm-hmm. And, but I gained friends. Right. And who were just real and who were around all the time, but I didn't know. Like, I didn't know how real they were because I was so caught up in this like other world. Mm-hmm. And even there's some friends that I have right now that are going through the same situation. And I'm just being Angela. Like I'm being that friend that's been supportive and just, but not being, not sugarcoating anything. That's what you can't do. You can't let them know that it's so like, like you're, it's fine. Like I know you love him. Like you guys will work it out. Cause it's not, you Mm -mm. can't let them know that or make them even think for one second that 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 whatever's happening Mm -hmm. is okay. Or that it's your fault. And if you call me and you know, you could come stay at my house Mm -hmm. when shit get too crazy, but I'm gonna still tell you like, and it's hard. It's hard when you have a friend that's going through something and they go back. Mm-hmm. And you can't stop it. You can't, but you can tell them, you can just show them the facts. Right. I can't stop you from doing what you're going to do because I don't want you to feel like you can't tell me anything. But at the same time, I can't not tell you it's fucked up. Mm-hmm. You can't force somebody to leave out of a situation no, you can't. like that. Never. The person have to wake up and be like, listen, I don't, I need better than this or whatever the case, mm-hmm. or and even like I have friends that like have literally put their hands on the dude first and continuously, like and he's might not done nothing to them and they're the abusive ones. And I even have to talk to them like you can't do that because one day he's gonna snap. And he's going to put his hands right, on no you. No one should put their hands on anybody, period. I, I, listen, I know a few girls that... But you're not supposed to. You you're not shouldn't. supposed to, but right. I don't think that's okay either. You get what I'm saying? And I got to the point where, like, I was so mad and I started doing the shit. You know what I mean? And then I noticed I got out of a, the relationship and I got in a relationship... Not relationship, but kind of. I was about to get in a relationship with somebody else. And I noticed myself doing like the abusive mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Like one time the dude, he he wasn't listening to something and he was eating the food. I smacked the food out of his hand. Mm-hmm. Like, and the shit went all on the floor. And I was like, after I did it though, like I was like, yo, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was bugging out like it, to me. Mm-hmm. But at the time, this is what I had came from. Mm-hmm. So this was You thought normal. that was normal, right? This was normal to me. Like, I done got a candle thrown in my face. Like, mm-hmm. all kind of shit. You get what I'm saying? So I looked at shit like that. Like, oh, I smacked this shit out of his hand. Like, now I'm going to get his attention. Yeah. But then when I woke up and really like, I'm like, what the fuck? I done mm-hmm. turned into some other person. I never did nothing like that before. Right. But I carried it from the old relationship and brung it to the, the next one. Mm-hmm. And then that's when I knew I was like, I got to take a little break. We and should always be trying myself. to make sure we be our best selves. Yeah. yeah. And that's the that's the the first step in doing that is acknowledging all the things that you've like done wrong and acknowledging where it came from. Mm-hmm. And it's nothing wrong with saying I was wrong. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's hard to say that. Mm-hmm. It's hard to be like, I was wrong. Especially for men. Mm-hmm. Us too, though. I think it's harder for women to say I didn't wrong. say hard for us too. Because no, men have, I, it's I feel like men, men are used to apologizing. I'm not saying I'm wrong. Men are very used to being like, I just want this to smooth over. All right, my bad. I'm True. sorry. Yeah, but my they fault. don't genuinely like me. mean it. Yeah, but right. they'll say it. Yeah, we won't I even mean, say mean that it. shit. I don't want you to I mean, say it. Mean it. It's hard for them to really say it and actually mean it. I'd rather you sit there and stick in whatever it is that you believe that you was right than you to come back and just like say sorry because somebody else made you say it. Right. Or because you think it'll like end whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, Justine, next time you come here, there's a lot of homework you have. <laughs> okay. Finger. We need you to A, sext. Uh, okay. Oh, she said that. that's high school. So she, did she said that she's her. been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, but you know. I don't like that. I don't even like when, wait, if a guy sends me a nude. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, I, feel like great I, like like I don't like that shit. What if he's got care. like amazing like, veins no, on his no, dick? No, I don't want to see. <laughs> like, like I only want to see it when it's time to see it. I don't want to no. see it, it in a like picture. A baby. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'm just like, okay. Like, what if his dick is moisturized? No, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's Coconut so oil, like though. dry dick. I remember one time this boy sent me a nude that I absolutely <laughs> never did. even asked for. Wasn't even talking to him like Story that. Not my life. I just blocked. Her. I just wanted to see my DMs. Mm-hmm. Mine too. That's that's so terrifying. 
Oh my That's god! Tavern. From ever since I started this <laughs> fucking show, yep, I want to throw up every time I open my. I almost deleted my snap. That's how bad it was. Every message, back to back to back, dicks jerking off, long dicks, short dicks, small dicks, <laughs> hook dicks. White dicks. Well, now I ain't gonna be <laughs> no more dicks. white dicks. I'm sure. <laughs> no more pink dicks pink for you. Dicks. <laughs> Try and call marry dicks. a white guy. What other homie so can mad. we give Justine for when she comes up here again? Um. <laughs> okay, we need her to, I want her to learn how to talk in the bedroom and not be mad when your man is telling you things. Dirty. I don't talk. get mad. I just you I don't, don't like talk. it. It turns you off. <laughs> okay, it's like because because sometimes you just sound dumb. <laughs> right, like, that's you true. Just sound dumb. Nah, you, you can't sound talking. dumb when you. Get, mm. <laughs> Never mind. All right. All right. Well, Justine, we appreciate you so much for coming through. Thank you, guys. She's going to come back next year. Trust she's and believe. She's never coming back here. Look at her face. Like she, not she's terrified. No, no she's not. Terrified. She's good. She's good. She's 23. She's going to put some fingers You got anybody butt. special right now? Mm. <laughs> um, you about to. <laughs> now I'm about to. Mm. Um, It's the holidays. No, I don't know. So I that means no. She said not around the holidays. I'm special to myself. January 2nd. <laughs> okay, all right. January 2nd, they come We going to see. Okay, we no, see some we shit on see. social media after this. We going to uh, know. I learned my lessons If about that happens, we're not talking to you no more. What? If you hide in somebody from us and we find out next oh, no, week. No, no, no. It's nobody. ain't nobody to hide. It's, <laughs> okay. it's nothing to hide. Crickets. It's Sliding them DMs, like, guys. It's definitely very, like, quiet. She it's likes dry. them tall, long. <laughs> Long, <laughs> but wide she has no type. And funny, <laughs> long, wide, Tall, and funny. Long, strong, and chocolate, and chocolate. <laughs> hot oh chocolate, God. and funny. <laughs> no, my DMs are so dry. Really, I don't believe not it. Let me so see. Dry. Not after this. She really, she's really, really about to. <laughs> <laughs> Especially like the ones that like, <laughs> like my request is literally. Oh, who's this? Oh, oh. No, this is a clothing brand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what team? Check. What team he play for? Yeah, <laughs> No, it'd be mad football players that, that nobody knows. They're definitely oh. not dry. They're definitely not dry, guys. I They're see stuff from like two minutes ago. Yeah, but they just say, I love you. Okay, that's not that's dry. That's how it starts. But it's like people like posting. That's me. like fan <laughs> stuff. Yeah, it's like it's like fan stuff, okay. which I appreciate and I love. Okay. You better grab up one of them um, football but I feel like, players. They but might you know what? You. It's, I feel like guys don't like talking to me, even like when I'm out. Like in the club, like they just don't like talking. Why? To me. They're probably intimidated. Yeah, the, a lot of people say like I have like a mean face, and I'm just like I'm not gonna lie, you do look like yeah. you're mean, but you're very sweet. No, that's just me like keeping it. it very like neutral. Okay, like resting because you didn't make me laugh, you didn't make me do nothing. So well, I'm just supposed to be smiling all the time, like looking like a <laughs> I'm supposed to be walking around like, like a happy bitch. Fucking going. Like, nothing's going on, so I'm gonna just be like, let me invite you in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I get that. But I I could also see them saying you look a little mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's annoying. Good. Keep the windows away. Right. That's annoying like that. when you're just sitting minding your business and the you guy's like, smile for "You me? smile. Why you gotta look so mean?" Oh my god. Gigi gets it all the time. That's why she's saying. It. I know. Gigi look at her face right now. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know. <laughs> but I be seeing guys like talking about they don't want like a friendly girl. Like they don't like. No 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 no. They don't want you friendly with everybody. Yeah, else. with everybody. Else. But Niggas. it's just like if I'm friendly with you. Then why would I be friendly with someone else? I don't even know you. You can't even be friendly with nobody else. You know, everybody think they special. Right. Everybody think they special. <laughs> Until they not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justine Scott, thank you so much. Lip service. Chill. You made it.